What is good guys, we are here with Snow vs Fruity Level World Cup. Snow always brings some interesting teams. Cresselia Jorachi. <laughs> Tapu Fini, um, Zimuth, Mans maybe? And Fruitrilla bringing a Hooper. Is a nasty plot Zim Hooper or Specs Hooper, I assume? And Scarf Kelly on Fruitilla's team. Yeah, I, I think Zimuth Landris makes a bit more sense on his team. Zimuth Landris and then Defensive Corp is like um, Bazim Kalfable and Celestila. Relita with Cresselia, which is a nice lead matchup for Fruitilla. I just called Dennis and he didn't pick up, so yeah, I don't know. if I might try again in a minute. We want to record this game. I mean, we wanted to record this together, basically, what I was trying to say. Mm. This, would this be a calm on Cresselia? Or is it just a scummy T with Cresselia? How does, how does Fruitilla break Cress? Yeah, he just Hooper, Hooper is his main way of breaking Cress, yeah. And if it's just Calm Mind, Celestina is gonna wall it and Leech Seed it and be annoying. Because that what's, that's what Celestina does, be annoying, right? Did he say anything? Okay, he called back and I didn't hear it. Okay, so... He doubles out into Zard. What did he predict there? Hello? Hi. Okay, okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure if that was the game, so... I checked the mm -hmm. Smogan thread, but it's, it, that is the correct game. Which, I don't know which team Fruitila is on. Uh, isn't he Latin America or something? So I assume he's gonna Volt Switch here, predicting Zard to mm -hmm. Mega Evolve, because if you Volt Switch, you see which Zard it is. Yes. And this is weird, because Snow said he's gonna play 10 minutes, and then 2 minutes after he started, so I wasn't ready for yes. this. But yeah, thankfully I just finished making the thumbnail for the Trosco game and closed Photoshop. That would have been so annoying if I had still had Photoshop open. Everything would lag. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this can lift HPS from Fold, so he's gonna... Um, Manectric is gonna switch out here. Never mind. In interesting team by Snow. Yeah, he always, brings, he always brings an interesting yeah. team. Yeah, innovative stuff. Eh? And that's, that's cool. So I was thinking Six. it was Command or T-Wave, but he chose Toxic. Mm-hmm. I mean, I can I'm understand. Like I can understand his play. He pivoted from um, Landris into Manectric, yeah. but I still would have s probably switched out the Manectric. I, I wouldn't have gone for HPIs. Ooh. He has a Salamence, so I'm thinking that it's gonna be his Z move. Yeah, user. that's what I said Z at the beginning Z of the video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't it's know. Is he like a Tapu Fini fan? Because he brought one in his last game too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking he's Spudef Rachi. For Lele, probably, I don't know. I mean, what is a Scarfa? Yeah, it doesn't have to be those, but... Uh, no, I'm just wondering what is, if he has a Scarfa. Mm -hmm. I guess... Yeah, um, actually, most his, only viable, his only viable Scarfa actually are either Lando or Rachi, but I don't think Lando is going to be the Scarfa. I mean, you never know if he's Scarfman, it could be. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking yeah. his way to deal with Volcarona is... Toxic on Crest and hope like because they don't run bug bars most of them. Mm -hmm. But um, ABR was using a Z bug bars one, so that would be bad if he faced that. Yeah. Hmm. Well, Freud Dealer's team is pretty straightforward. I'm I'm assuming he's like Rock School Fable, Sc yeah. Scarf Kale. Yeah, yeah, I thought he was Z. I was um going off the Lando being Z move and the defensive mm -hmm. core being Celestial and Clef. Yeah. And Scarf Kale, obviously. Yeah, you already said it. Yeah, I already said it earlier too. Um, well, Hoopa should should switch out fear into you. Yeah, if right. the if the Landers is uh, max speed off plate, which is the one set that like mm -hmm. sorry and Sadurts like, Hooper gets yeah, outsped Ho and Hooper doesn't expect that sometimes. So yeah, like in his blown in his gets OST bl blown away. You should go. You should go Celestial. Probably. In his OST game, I think he's just gonna rocks here. Um, in his OST game, Ooh, Lando. Yeah, that's fair. Sadurts versus Lysergic. Mm -hmm. Um, he had like a uh, max speed Hoop. Max B Lando and um, the Hooper just got barbed by off but <laughs> Hmm, what's the, is this? I assume he's gonna flamethrower with that Y, no, yeah. Y, okay, yeah. Cause like Zad X, last. you don't bring Zad X in on Lando, right? Yeah, no. Unless you wanna DD and hold. Zad X isn't really common at the moment. Yeah, uh, it was used. It was used earlier. Hmm. I don't know if you saw that game I uploaded already. 
I don't think I don't think I, I'm the, the Oblivion maybe. versus uh, Axel 10 game. Okay, Ex so now mm, I mean I he's think Snow should switch fearing a Stone Age probably. Um, Snow doesn't um, die to Stone Age, but he can still keep this around I'll cut real quick. Cause I know that Oh yeah, but maybe he doesn't die but it takes a lot though. Yeah. Yeah, he's probably just gonna go Cress and yeah. Fruit Dealer is gonna double into Hooper, which is why I think Snow should. That's why I think Sting is an okay play, because Fruit mm -hmm. Dealer might be tempted to double anyway, and Stone Age doesn't kill anyway, so like it's a win win. Yeah, that's a fair play, actually. I mean, if he stays in and you take that huge shit on his side, it's gonna be bad. But I mean, it's obviously not going for a water move, I'm assuming, since Sun is up. Yeah, he's either Stone Age or doubling. Or he could Toxic here, but he can the Cresselia if he has Toxic on Scarf kill you. But most of them run Stone Edge. Okay, they yeah, exactly. Did go for Stone Edge. Yeah. Mm. He was um, either going Hooper or going for Stone Edge there. So I assume this is a Scarf Jirachi because that covers the yeah. Stone Edge and that covers the Hooper. Because you know Snow mm -hmm. always tries to make the perfect play. He's <laughs> going for U turn. He's yeah, going I for assume. U turn. Yeah. So I see yeah, that's so Scarf damage, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's Scarf Jirachi. Because that's still that's that um, 20 to offend. That's like. interesting. So it's probably as like Healing Wish to bring back another Mon later. He didn't wish to bring Batman after it got that mm -hmm. first DD sweep going that weakened something and then the second DD sweep yeah. go through. What's this Cresselia set? Toxic? Moonlight? Oh, that's why he has that Y, so Moonlight heals 75%. Mm. Actually, no, Moonlight heals less in Sun, I'm pretty sure. Does it? I don't oh, know. right, it heals less. So maybe yeah. it's, maybe it's yeah, rest. It heals less. Yeah, it's rest maybe then. I know that Synthesis is more in the sun, I was going off Synthesis for some reason, let me okay. do data. He doesn't have, he probably has Psychic as a, no, he has Moonlight, see so it, I don't know if I... It heals more in sun, see? Did you see? Huh. Okay, so maybe it was confusing with sand or something? Yeah, no, it heals, it heals less in rain and in sand. Mm-hmm. I wasn't sure okay, about how it works in the that's, sun. That's cool. Okay. So this is either Dark Pulse, oh, he shot T-Bolt. Yeah, what did he use T-Bolt on? He went... Oh, he, did, he used it on land, land on, Yeah, he went land on the T-Bolt. Yeah, I assume he's gonna go Feeny here, because this time he's not gonna T-Bolt, because yeah, that didn't yeah. work out for him last time. I mean, it's kinda... Yeah, this is a turn where he has to predict correct. Oh yeah, you're right. He, it heals more during sun and less during other... Yeah, web. I wasn't sure yeah, at I, first. Yeah, I actually didn't know about that. So I only knew cool. about synthesis. I didn't know that mm -hmm. it's more in sun when you said it. I was confused okay, for a so second. Yeah, so now it makes it. Ooh, uh, it nice it play. I would have. Yeah, I would have gone into Tapu Fini too, expecting him to dark pulls or yeah. something, because last time he didn't go Tapu Fini. So now he predicts the Landrus and switches out into his own Landrus, which makes me think oh. that he has maybe HP Ice or something. Um, yeah, probably HP Ice standard on Rocky on Lando. And yeah, he stays in in case he wants to switch mm. out, which is a nice play. Judging, mm. judging by the damage, the Hoopa has to be specs, right? Yeah, yeah obviously, yeah. I mean, most Hoopa are specs. It's like, mm -hmm. it really doesn't have switch-ins besides like some fat mons on store. Yeah, Fini dies, but... I don't know, Prevence I probably would have just spammed now. rocks there. Mm -hmm. Because you have more PP. I mean, he would have taunted you eventually. So he would have yeah, gotten so the defog off anyway if he played it correct. He's probably going Zard, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, Zard doesn't have switch and Caesar has to sack yeah. this Lando or the Caldeo, and I think he's gonna sack the Lando. Mm hmm. I mean, Snow should win this with Zard, because, like, a Hooper doesn't yeah, die from full, but Hooper already is at 65. Yeah, yeah Hooper's already in range from Fire Blast. He just I, wouldn't, I wouldn't risk. I think he should go for Solar Beam here. Um, he might have HP Ice too, but. Oh, yeah, HP Ice. If that's he has that's it. more so if they're paired with Dougie, so I'm not sure about that. Yeah, but I mean, cause I, I, mean I wouldn't risk missing fire. Blast. I mean, I can look at his team, and I see he has a Cress. I assume that has Ice Beam, which makes me yeah, think that he has. That's already his answer for Zygarde, So I think this doesn't have HP Ice. So yeah, he's just gonna Solar Beam. Mm -hmm. Like that's usually how I try to figure out what move they have. He has a Fini and a Cress, both Zygarde checks. So this shouldn't have HP Ice then. Hmm. Yeah, he. Yeah, like he hasn't. He doesn't have switch, and so I don't see why he would switch. He's just sacking the lander. Yeah. Yeah, he's probably gonna sack and then bring him, bring back Keldy or Manectric. One of the two. Probably Manectric, actually. Yeah, but Keldy. Manectric from Fall, I don't know if it kills Zard. I can't it. Mm, yeah. I mean, Snow's That's gonna switch out anyway because that puts yeah, in so much beam. work. Okay. okay, Solar Beam that wasn't watching because I'm calking at the moment. Solar Beam. Oh, yeah, Manectric. Ooh. T-Bolt does 90 to 107, so yeah, he's not gonna risk the roll. 
He's gonna go into he's probably gonna vote switch there. Cresselia Orlando here. Depending yeah. on if he predicts Volt Switch, he can also go Jirachi if he predicts HP Ice. But if you predict HP Ice, you obviously go Chris. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think he's Volt Switching here, but I can see. I, I don't. Mm, I can see him trying I, to make an aggressive play, trying to catch the Landris, but. Yeah, but I, I don't think that's. Snow already made worth. that play. Snow already made the pivot into Lander once. He's not gonna make mm -hmm. it again, so yeah, I would yeah. Volt Switch here. I don't know if. HP, I see Azar. Yeah, I'm just giving all the options have, that they can yeah, do. Yeah, which ha you have zero switch switching tonight. I don't know. Yeah, I would go crash too, actually. I mean, if he volt switches here, Hooper kind of gets a kill, but yeah. I mean, Hooper doesn't get a kill because Zardwai can live a hit, but I don't know if he would let the Zardwai take such a huge hit from Hooper. No. Zardwai, he's. Yeah, but what else is he, what else is he gonna sack if Hooper comes in now and the volt switch on the crash? Yeah. Like he has to sack something to the dark bolts. Actually, I don't know about the rest of the team, but if Snow loses Zard, why? How does he beat Celestia? Mm, he could have trick on his Jirachi. Mm, that's true. And he could be Z Inferno Overdrive on Salamence because he has Sun support. Hmm. But yeah, that's just that. that's just that's just an option. Yeah, a DD Fire Blast Salamence. I've seen that. Oh, I thought DD Fire thing, because oh, yeah, DD Fire thing. Because yeah, uh, Max Attack should do more to because mm -hmm. Crest run, Crest runs not Crest, Celestia runs Bedev most of the time. Bedev, yeah. <laughs> ICT said I hearted Celestia on the Solar Beam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah Volt Switch. Was that was the, probably the correct play. Wait, I just realized timer is not on. Yeah, they do that often in World Cup. I know. Okay. Like I've had like three or four games. I guess they're playing relatively fast. So. Yeah, they're playing super fast considering the timers of Tipsy King versus Poik. That was like every turn <laughs> like three minutes. Yeah, he almost timed out. Too. Oh, Dennis versus Silet. Every turn takes five minutes in a friendly. No, no, that wasn't me. That was Silet. <laughs> that was Silet, okay. Yeah, okay, Darkbolt so da Dark yeah, switching. It's the yeah, X button. Non existent. Do you think he needs tough. the Landris? Because Lando doesn't do much. Yeah, um, Lando is only really useful for rocks, but mm, even even so, like fruit dealer's team is not really that affected by rocks. Like unless he has some tech on Lando that is needed to beat the Celesteela after he loses yeah. his art, then yeah, actually I think he he needs the other four months more than Lando. You're probably gonna sack Lando. Um, if he's speedy, speedy Landris, he can potentially outspeed the Hooper. But if he's speedy, I think he would just die to Dark Pulse from 84. Because it's a spec. Solomon's. Uh, Ooh, so that eats it up calculated EVs. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, if yes, he has if he has Z Firefang, I a hard click Z Firefang. Actually he might go yeah, he I might mean. go Clefable first. But most players would go Celestia fearing the DD into Sky Strike. Yeah, if he if he has Z Firefang, yeah, sure. Because Keldia dies for sure, like he's just I mean you can DD here, um so. would he save the Hoopa? Mm. Yeah, he's probably gonna go Celestia or Clef. Depending on what he thinks, yeah, I mean, this Hoop, Hoop is, is still nice because, like you said, dark pulse switchings are non-existent. So. <laughs> yeah, but if he lets this DD, that could be pretty bad if this Mens is the correct set. Doubles so he doubles Zard. out, breaking the Celestia nice slash Clefable, yeah. but he's gonna mm -hmm. protect it. The sun is gonna end, and then hmm. and then what is he gonna do afterwards? Because he still doesn't have fire blast switchings even when the sun ends. I'm pretty sure Celestia yeah. might live one of its max speed because this thing is fat as fuck, I'll calculate it quick. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised actually. As yeah, but Dev, no sun, does um, 75 to 88. Yeah, Celestia is disgusting. <laughs> I love Celestia because Lele runs through my team sometimes on balance if I don't yeah. have this. Hmm. Yeah, he's just gonna fire this again. He's like. Yeah, he has to. Like, it's not like Fruity has good switchings. He's either gonna lead seed or hope for a dodge. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> the other option would be sacking Hooper, but that's yeah. not worth uh, it. Like Hooper is still good. Yeah, like you said. Um, I don't know. Is Keldio Scarf Keldio really useful? St yeah, I don't know. I guess it's nice versus. I mean, Scarf Keldio with icy wind is nice for mints. Yeah. You I was about to say if he has icy wind. Um, also, if it has, no, he already shot Stone Edge, so his other move is going to be Surf slash Gold, Hydro Pump, and Secret Sword. Yeah. I mean, Keldio is only nice for speed control to outspeed the Scarf Rachi. Hmm. I mean, Scarf Rachi, if Celestia gets beaten, becomes really annoying. 
that's sure. So that's why I would save the Kelly for sure. I mean, I don't think he's switching anything in. Oh, yeah, he would say you could sack the Kelly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he could do that. But Fable. Maybe he has some Spadev. Mm, oh, that that, that two KOs, no, no Spadev. So Three KOs without Sun. His, his Zard is well trained, he doesn't miss. Yeah. And yeah. now he's bringing. Again, either Manectric, okay, or Keldeo. Yeah, and this time he's gonna... Manec Manectric is nicer because Keldeo is forced to this time he's gonna himself into Stone Age. You think he's gonna HPIs this time? Oof. I mean, I T-Bolt is still a roll, but Zard is not yeah. gonna stay in. He's always been clicking Volt switch. I mean, it's, I it's, it's in the favor of... Yeah, but mm -hmm. I would I would still I would Volt switch again. Because he's gonna... Ex yeah. I think Snow would expect you to HPIs here. Mm-hmm. If you really expect HPIs, you go Jirachi. Exactly, that's Ooh, why. Did I don't agree with HPIs there. I mean, yeah. yeah, I get it. That he Volt Switch last time and it worked, so Snow could go Landris, but... Like, Cress was just a safer play, because even if he Volt yeah. Switches, then he just sacks the Salamence, so Snow didn't lose much. Exactly. And now... I mean, he's Volt Switching into Hooper here. Yeah, I don't know what... what what the, what, the cre what the attacking move is on Corsair? Yeah, yeah, Ice Beam obviously, and then it's probably Psychic mm -hmm. or Psyshock or T-Wave. I don't know. Yeah, I think he has... Because no, he, he, he showed Toxic, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah Toxic Moonlight, and then it's either Ice mm -hmm. Beam, and Ice Beam and last slot is um, either, spe either Stab or Moonblast, maybe for Sable, I'm not mm -hmm. sure. So he's probably going... I mean, I, I think, think it's Stab. Quick. I don't, I don't think he's clicking Toxic because Celestia could come out. No, he's going either Hooper or Celestia. Yeah, Celestia might be mm -hmm. the better player. I didn't think about that. Hooper. But yeah, he goes hard Hooper predicting okay, Ice Beam yeah, slash yeah, Psyche. That did, that did nothing. And yeah, he's gonna so set off go the Mans. Salamence? Mm hmm. Because it's low anyway. He's probably. Yeah, he's. Probably gonna sack Salamence and then bring Jirachi and U-turn. Scarf Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I would do as well. Yeah, I mean, I've, and, and already have T Wave, but I could still see the double status on this crest. Because T Wave support for Zard Y is not bad. I mean, he has a type of Vini with Misty Terrain, so maybe status spam is not the best idea. But I think Toxic on Cresselia is mainly for. What is it mainly for? Let me think. I actually wouldn't know. Because I'm trying to. Um, yeah, like uh, earlier I said Volcarona, but because that's scary versus his team. Like, I mean, he has a Salamence, but if uh, Volcarona has HPIs. Yeah, because I can I can't really think of Pokemon that can take advantage of Corselia that you need Toxic for. I mean, stuff like moment. Mega Slower with Calm Mind, for example, but that's not really common. Mm. And for, for I was as I was about to say for months in the air, and then I thought about Landris, but then I thought he has Ice Beam, so that doesn't make much sense that it's for Landris. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I would go through the team build, I would um, probably realize what it's for. <laughs> it's Jirachi sh should come out now. Because it, it has to be for some specific scenarios, because he, he has to play really careful because he has Misty Terrain, so the Toxic yeah. mm, has to be timed well. So Charter. he's just gonna solar beam here. Yeah. Cause if he if he goes into Jirachi, the only difference would have been that it wouldn't really have been a difference. I think he would have been going into Y afterwards anyway. Mm -hmm. So he's gonna sack the Hooper or the Kelio. Then he's gonna bring the yeah. Manectric back in. Yeah, at this point you, you sack Hooper like I, I think. think this is gonna be close, but I think Snow wins one or two oh. Mm-hmm. What? What did someone say was it Wish Mans? Huh? No, wh what? Really? I'm gonna collect the Dark Pulse from Hooper versus Men's. No, the, the Dark Pulse did way too much to be bulky Salamence, I think. Hooper Unbound Choice Bags versus... He did 88, like... Yeah, the roll is 107 to 102 if it's offensive Men's. From Hard Celesteel on the Solar Beam, goddamn. <laughs> That's what ICT what? said in the chat earlier. <laughs> He's gonna get banned now for ghosting. <laughs> he said that a few minutes what? ago. I mean, he said it after the play was made. He's yeah, that was a risky as fuck, because if he lost so still, didn't he kind of lo lose to Scarfrachi? Yeah, he's gonna s try to stall out the sun. I mean, he has to make some risky plays, he's kind of in the back at the moment. Yeah. So he's gonna try... Hmm? I don't know. I mean, he has to sack something here, like, or dodge a fire blast, because then the mm -hmm. sun it kills. 
Because I don't think Kelly yes. lives from 36. It should easily. No, there's no way. Fireblast yeah. did over 50 before. Yeah, I don't really understand this pivot play. Unless he gets the he double did. protect here or he dodges. He still has to go back into Hooper and Sack. That's the only. Like, that's not really yeah, he did 64 to kill you. Holy yeah, he's probably gonna suck Hooper. If I'm guessing. Is that the minus but death kill you? Did it really do 64? Let me count that. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, sucking Hooper. So I don't get why he pivoted. Pivot it into Celestia, maybe to waste. Yeah, like you said, Sun turns or. Fire. Yeah, but Sun is still up. And he has to go Manectric and. Oh, he goes Kelly. Who did Stone Edge again? Last time he went Jurachi in the Stone Edge. He's not gonna Stone Edge because he's in the back, and if he Stone Edge is here, yeah, he gets exactly. Jurachi free switch and he loses. He's probably gonna double. I'm just wondering how into much what? it does. Double into Celestia? What? Just wanna see how much. Manectric. Manectric doesn't have speed. Scarfrachi. Stone Edge does to Zard. It is 82 to 96, so yeah, Stone Edge never killed. Even if AC oh, killed that's, you? Oh, that's minus attack killed you, my bad. Oh, uh, yeah. What, what nature do they run? AST. Because I always mix up the... Yeah, AST is the man minus defense one. So yeah, minus def... Stone Edge does 91 to 107. Yeah, he went 91 to 107. I mean, that's still fine. He can just synthesis up here. Mm -hmm. Like, the burn doesn't really matter because burn got nerfed this gen. And yeah, the sun, the sunlight supporting this Chris is nice. Yeah, I think Snow has this one, unless something. So he's gonna lead shit here. Yeah. I mean, Fireblast misses the wind of root dealer. Mhm. Mm <laughs> Snow's gonna go three and oh nice. Yeah, like many predicted. I mean, I mean, he didn't have the hardest group, right? I mean, Duke Vesper isn't bad, but Duke Vesper didn't have time Ooh, to prep. He was, he was pretty busy. He I mean, wasn't. When it comes to Pokemon, it's not always that obvious because hacks can always happen. But still, Fujila yeah, one of no fight. choke is what Mazar said. How did he choke? Huh? I don't know. I don't know how he choked. Oh, really. I think he said a Fujila. Can only win if he chokes, or so I don't know. If oh yeah, it. yeah. Fruit dealer can only win if no like. I think that's what he meant. Otherwise, has yeah. a has a stroke or something. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he dodged the lead seed, and now he needs to go for the fire blast dodge because mm -hmm. he has no switch and everything dies. Yeah, but even if he dodges fire blast, like he's he can only go for leech. Seed. Yeah, but fire blast only has eight pp. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if it misses oh, one, yeah, he's, he, yeah, he only, he only has, has two pp. I didn't yeah. realize. Ooh. Exactly. So yeah, like he, he he's gonna solo beam here expecting the protect. So I would go for Leech Seed again because he wants he wants to be careful with his fire blast PP. Yeah, that can so be. Yeah, I would go for Leech Seed again here. Yeah. Man, why am I lagging? Unless unless the Cresselia has Lunar Dance, in which case. It nah, he has matter. healing wish on Jirachi, but that doesn't oh, okay. that doesn't restore. Yeah, but that, yeah, that doesn't restore, restore PP. PP yeah. Only health. Only Lunar Dance does. No, no, I don't think Lunar Dance restores PP either. Yeah, I think it does. Health and PPs. No way. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Let me. Let oh, me with PP, it's fully healed with PP. How did you know yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I, I don't know because. See, I, I, I see, I, I knew. He I would. used that once. I knew I he knew would make that play. I would have fire mm, blasted there because it was, it was pretty obvious that he wants to save. It was pretty obvious that he wants to save his last fire blast PP. Like he has two now. Yeah. I don't think he's protecting here either. I think he's gonna go for heavy slam. Cause hmm. it's like so obvious that you protect here. Yeah, yeah. That's true. <laughs> so I would solar beam here and then I would fire blast next turn. And if he gets it wrong, um yeah you can call me bad if I would get it wrong here. <laughs> but I would uh, solar beam here. Like ninety percent of the time. Yeah, because it, it's one of those situations in which, like, protect is so obvious, but maybe fruit dealers will think that, pro that will think that Snow would think that protect is obvious, so he's gonna protect I mean, regardless. I don't know. If he goes for protect here, Zad only has one fire blast left. Mm -hmm. So I could see, um, I could see fruit dealer. If he goes for protect here, I think he's gonna switch out on the next turn and thinks he can waste the last fire blast. And Snow's gonna mm -hmm. predict that and go for solar beam. 
And then kill the Keldeo or do yeah, damage to the Manic Trick and then still has one Fire Blast left. Let me see. Yeah, I was just checking the Ooh. Nintendi tactical, up. Tactical turn 32 timer. <laughs> Nintendi's game is gonna be up in 45 minutes, I was just checking how far the upload is. Who's he, who is he playing? Uh, Nintendo was, was his loan, I recorded already, it's up in 45 Ooh. minutes. Okay. It was already. Yeah, he did win for Protect, you see? Hmm. He wanted, you really wanted to stall the Fire Blast. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Ooh, Smackdown! I was about to say, is this Smackdown? Hmm. Interesting. So if he gets a Bernie, that would be bad, but it doesn't. So so he did it another way. Earthquake gets a kill his, here. Yeah. I mean, he can yeah. protect, but then after that, Earthquake gets a kill because Kelly does manage to die and Celestia does. Because it, it was kind of strange to only have Zard Y to, to kill Celestia. So. Yeah, that's why I thought it would be the fire move on men. I'm glad he has he wasn't. like Smackdown Lando to deal another way to deal with Celestia. I mean, he also has yeah, he, potential trick on Shirachi would be the last mm -hmm. option, yeah. But he probably... He's probably n now probably, he's sucking Keldeo. Probably has, sure. um, he's probably tricked three attacks on his Shirachi. Because, mm -hmm. yeah. Like... A yeah, Iron Head, U-Turn, Healing Wish Trick. No, no. Oh, did I say trick three attacks? I meant Healing Wish three attacks. Yeah, Healing Wish three Like, Healing Wish and U-Turn, Iron Head, and then, like... Heart Stamp? Ice Punch or, or Heart Stamp. Ice Punch, yeah. I think Ice Punch in this meta for Zygarde, maybe. I mean, he has Ice yeah, Beam already, so sense. I guess nah, he already has Zygarde checks. I was talking about this earlier, so I don't know. Why would you protect? It's obvious he's going for Earthquake. To get more health? Oh. Yeah. I, th I think so. Still dies. He's to death. Just suck you. If the Landos makes attack, it should die, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Wouldn't Lando be some Earth Plates that we smack them in Q? Did you see what Sabala said in the chat? All his teams no, have been straight flames. How do you ever prepare for this guy? Yes, no, always brings. Wait, him. what did you say? Uh, no, I'm. I was saying, wouldn't this Lando be like some kind of Earth Plate set with Smackdown and EQ? Yeah, but yes, no. Basically, it's one. He seems kind of. He seems kind of weak to Mawal if his land is hmm. offensive. I thought he would be defensive to switch into Mawal. That's also true. But he will have some so some check to that. Like, yeah, so like right. Zard can switch in tomorrow because uh, Thunder Punch does 5 million. It's actually pretty. Yeah, I can see why it will be pretty tough to prepare for Snow because you, you never know what it can bring. That's cool. Yeah, he's got Leech Seed here, but it should not matter. No. As soon as Zard comes in. Actually, Celestia can always protect, like. To waste the fire blast, right? Yeah, but he's gonna double into land while predicting the protect, so mm -hmm. Rudila's gonna have to make plays to come back. <laughs> like, maybe go for like heavy slam crit on the turn that the Lando comes in, or maybe something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, what's um, the play? Zard, Yop, Leech Seed? I mean, he can also start us out of Leech Seed PP, kinda, switching between Kuras and Rachi and clicking Moonlight. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, that's just like if you don't want to risk anything. Yeah, if he's he stays in, he's going for Solar Beam, but I think he's gonna double. Uh, I think Fruzilla is gonna have his Lemon Leech Seed again. Never mind. Ooh, he doubled himself. To Manectric predicting the Landris, maybe, because the Landris should be in HPI's range. I mean, Roast. Yeah, the Landris in HPI's range, obviously. So he's gonna. No, he's not gonna HPI this to time. Volt he went switch. For, oh. Yeah, he went for HPI twice and didn't work out. Yeah, but if I'm Snow, I would never risk the Landers because, like you said, yeah, exactly. It's the one only of the ways way. to deal with Celestia, mm -hmm. so I would never make that play. I don't know why he wouldn't Volt, but yeah, I guess he doesn't have anything I mean, to hit the Cresselia. That's why, like, if he Volted out, he just has yeah, a Mon that gets Volted by Chris and a Mon that Volts Chris, so they're just sitting there I mean, and staring at each other. But even if but even if Snow went Lando on the Manectric. That doesn't make sense because Lando doesn't have speed. Yeah, it was just to pivot, but again. even then, it's unnecessary mm -hmm. risky for Snow because he needs it. Yeah, so watch. he's gonna protect or oh, he it again, protecting a U turn. Yeah. Unless it has trick, but I don't think it has. Yeah, he's either going to U turn trick if he has. I mean, U turn Iron Head double. I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure if he has Fire Punch, Fire Punch does zero. Yeah, Fire Punch would do like 35 maybe. Uh, yeah, you turn. Yeah, that was the play always. 
So he's gonna vault into Chris. We're gonna sit here for a while. <laughs> I don't know why this game is still going on. Like usually the games would like semi stall. They take like forty minutes, and this game is already at thirty minutes. Yeah, that's because he's running fire blast and not flamethrower. I guess he doesn't want to risk. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would run fire blast timid Zar too. And the reason I run max yeah, speed, yeah, yeah. the reason I run max speed timid Me at too. the moment is because um, of opposing Medichim. I mean, he has a crest yeah. on his team, so he doesn't have to be max speed on Zard. I guess. Yeah, that that makes sense. But usually, like, there's a lot of, there are, like, a good amount of base 100 Pokemon that um, Timid is usually worth it. I mean, Mega Garu was not Please? out yet. I mean, Garu was not going to be even that good, Mega Garu. Well, people say it's the worst Tapu Lele. So that's not going to be super common. <laughs> yeah, it's probably going to be a, war a slightly faster, but weaker Tapu Lele. Yeah, yeah people are going to use Tapu Lele and Garu on the same team just to test oh, it out, but it's not good. Disgusting. Yeah, it's not, it's like, it sounds, it sounds sort of like... Manectric Coco, like it sounds <laughs> good on like in theory, but like on it doesn't bring it doesn't bring bad. you any defensive like utility. Exactly, mm. exactly. Um, I could see him going for Fire Blast this time, cause um, yeah. I mean, on the other side, Fruitless is probably gonna protect. So if he Solar Beams here and gets the play correct, and he can then Fire Blast and get a kill next turn as long as he hits. I don't. Exactly. I don't think there's a point, and I mean he can also go into Landers here, but at one point he's just gonna go for Fire Blast. It's like we don't want to be here for five hours, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as long as Snow hits, he gets a kill anyway. Like even if he goes for Fire Blast yeah. first and then he gets a Protect, mm -hmm. unless he gets a Double Protect, he can just go for Fire Blast twice. Because if a Manectric dies. Yeah, I don't think. I think he Fruit will be able. Is gonna double into Manectric again. Like if Manectric dies, he's be, he yes. Will... Snow is probably going to Solar Beam on the Protect and then Fire Blast on the Manectric sec. I guess. I mean, he can technically Fire Blast twice as long as there's, there's no double Protect or no miss, because. Oh yeah, what I'm gonna say. I I was thinking he had only one PP. Yeah. No, no, I'm just saying two. because if the Manec if he switches into Manectric, and then he loses two Fire Blasts. He Ooh, still gets he still gets walled by he still gets walled like the man, the Celestial alone can't beat Snow's entire team is what I'm saying even if the Zard runs out of fire blast so if he yeah, goes Manectric he sex that yes Celestial walled Zard but yeah nice job you're still gonna get PP stall between Kres, Rachi, Zard and Lando or like Beta we gotta get uh, lose to the Smackdown combo to plus I don't know plus Jirachi flinches or Smackdown into Earthquake. <laughs> I think Fruit Dealer's best play, actually, I, I don't, double protect I don't know or dodge. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't know about best play, but it's like either double pro yeah, double protect or dodge basically. Or yeah, that gives him a that gives him a double chance to like. It gives him a oh higher. Oh my god, he got the top. No. Okay, so this no. is still a game. No, it's not over yet. No, like this. <laughs> no. He actually got the double. I mean, it was fifty percent chance, but. Like, so he's gonna have his lemma oh. leech here. Not and Zard is gonna roost up here. Fed as Celesteel, I got the double protect. <laughs> Someone asked what his last move on Zard. I assume EQ a focus blast. Unfortunately. So, yeah. Like Tailwind, I see it sometimes over roost, but I don't really like that set. But yeah, we already know it's roost. So he's kinda stalling out the heavy slam PP here. <laughs> hmm. Is someone asked if Protect is 50% chance to activate the second time. Zamok said, yeah. I'm not sure. Sometimes I mix it up. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it's 33% or 50% to get a second Protect. Ooh. I think, if I remember correctly, is 50 the second time and 33 the third time? I don't know, though. Don't quote me on that. Mm. I always thought it was 50% to get a double Protect, but maybe it's They're saying it's 33% in the chat, but I'm not sure. Well, it's, Bulba, if it's 33, you got pretty lucky. They're saying it's 1 3, but like Bulbapedia states it wrong. It's pretty <laughs> damn lucky then. And another site states it correctly. Another site? It was tested to be 1 3. So yeah, sure. I always thought it was 50%. I don't know. No, no. Like when I go for double protect, like it doesn't happen often. Yeah, I never get double protect, so. I mean, at the moment, I don't really play around with the move anymore, but. Mm -hmm. Always I used feather team, so I had to protect more often. <laughs> <laughs> Rules, heavy slam. Okay, this is getting kind of boring. 
I mean, I, mean I, yeah. I get why he's going for Rose because he wants to. That's his best play. Because yeah. they. Celestia runs out of heavy slam eventually. Uh, I mean, at one point he's gonna go into something like Jirachi. I don't really know. This is just gonna come down to some PP stall shit. I mean, Landry still beats this. If Landry can take, I a can hit. see maybe Fruit Dealer is conditioning Snow to Rose to bring um, Manectric freely. I don't know. I mean, like, yeah, he can go Manectric here. That's fine play. <laughs> But it doesn't even do anything because he would just go yeah. Cress on the Vault Switch and then it would be back again with Cress versus Celestia, the fat on fat action. <laughs> <laughs> then Dennis is gonna fall asleep before the game is over. Oh my god. When uh, ICT brings um, semi stall and Blunder brings stall, and that game was like 80 minutes, and this game is at 36 minutes already. <laughs> Wait, did ICT play, play the game? No, no, from yesterday. Okay, we went yeah, the recording cool. yesterday, that's why I mentioned that game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, what's he thinking about? Does he, does he not click Roost again? Like, uh, He's just making a like game plan for the following turns. Because yeah. um, people like in tour plays, like sometimes think like 10 turns ahead. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So let me think this end game through. Um, I want to call Celestia versus Landris the scenario if Landris can live a heavy slam because that might come into play. So I'm gonna go off the Landris being max attack, no bulk. And I'm gonna say like... Uh, I'm just gonna say double dance, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so it's not double dance obviously, but it just want the spread that has no HP. So heavy slam from Celestia and min at minus one does... I think it, do it kills probably. It is 29 to 35. Oh, never mind. Lander is at 39, so... So yeah, Landris... He has to bring the Landers and save. He either has to sack something mm -hmm. or get the Landers in on a double on the Celestina. And then he can smack down and then he gets another kill. Unless he gets a Heavy Slam crit. <laughs> or he gets Lead Sheet off and gets another double protect. Or triple protect, I don't know. He really is just going for Heavy Slams. Yeah, he's kind of... I don't know, uh, he's eventually going to go Manectric sooner or later. <laughs> yeah. The next four or five I mean, turns. That's, that's what I assume he would do, but... I, I guess he's just waiting for the right opportunity. I mean, it's not like Snow can like go for Solar Beam or anything, because the sun is out. I mean, he could still go for Focus Blast. <laughs> Focus Blast, as if that move ever eats. <laughs> I mean, he got a double protect, so hitting a Focus Blast is like about the same chance. I think it's like slightly lower chance to hit a focus blast. I mean, if double protect is even if it's thirty three percent, it's still a higher chance than a scald burn, so it's not that unlikely to get double protect. <laughs> mm, I guess, but it's still. I mean, scald burn it's always not, it wasn't, it's wasn't in his favor. Oh, I, I mean, yeah, if you put it that way, I guess <laughs> it's not that lucky. I might have to pause it. <laughs> I mean, there's a timer, so he has to make a move like soon, next minute. <laughs> in here I find Wait, what the fuck? Sunder and Ren and Blizzard and Hell have a 30% 30 30 chance to break Protect? Is he like trolling or is he giving information? That's an AP. No, that, yeah, that's, that's... Okay, I don't know if that's... Animal. I don't know. Nah, no, no, that's, that's not a thing. Ooh, like. his Focus Blast is expected. Spadef drop? No. He's fishing for the Spadef drop. Or, so he's just gonna Roost Spam here, because the Zard got weakened now, because mm -hmm. he attacked. Yeah, he, na he now brings Manectric on the Roost, like I thought he would. Mm -hmm. Took him long enough. I guess he didn't want to risk anything. So he's just Vault Switching here, because you never risk the land risk, because land is important to kill the Cell Stealer. But smack down into Earth Yeah, if he's gonna Vault Switch on the Cresselia, This is pretty repetitive. Then he's going. He's clicking Ice Beam on the Celestial. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I think he, he may actually come down to some sort of TP stall. I don't know. Or maybe. I mean, Snow. If Snow plays it correct and like sack something with Celestial, he always gets a kill with Landris. Then as long as he doesn't yeah, get critted. Yeah, that's also true. Like he either has to get 
get crit by fruit dealer or fruit dealer has to get like a double yeah. or triple protect to or avoid like unless he gets really impatient but that's never gonna happen no, and decides gonna... fuck it and flinches everything with Jirachi <laughs> nah even though it would take like nah, if you're this far in the game you're not gonna get impatient in world cup yeah that's what i'm saying on ladder it's maybe never, but not in world cup it's <laughs> never gonna happen it was just yeah porsche's playing tomorrow as mero i think he got john till sunday and i think tomorrow is like the deadline for players to have played their first game like they have to play like three games in the next two or three weeks i don't remember after mm -hmm. the deadline for like every one in world cup plays three games in the first round wait I just Porsche is gonna is gonna play World Cup tomorrow and Smoke to Monday. A Monday or Tuesday, I don't know the exact. Mm. Day. But he, I think he has this prep for Bengay ready for a while because he was ready to play on Friday, I think. Bengay, Bengay didn't yeah. have a computer, so I had to delay. As long as he prepped for like something work like. Storm. Yeah, I don't know why he's taking so long. I think he just goes in the press. I mean, maybe he's planning make some ingenious maneuvers on deck wait are, why is no timing out like, he has what? some ingenious plan that i don't know about and he's still thinking i mean he's not timing out he's gonna make a move at 20 i think or 10. uh then he's gonna get mad if he loses the time no no please pick, pick a move okay See, i told you at 20 or 10. Oh, wait why i don't know lindo is slower i mean he know he wouldn't make hp ice play but like that's unnecessary risk and now he's going well. Jordan. I guess it's Cresselia doesn't have infinite moonlight PP, so he didn't want to go crest first. But this is the right. most obvious pivot I've ever seen. How did Fruit yeah, Dealer, yeah. How did Fruit Dealer not T build again? Yeah, I mean it's easy to say as a spectator, but that was kind of obvious. Yeah, but it's me, it's right? World Cup, so like yeah. in World Cup you would as like in, like yeah, it, I know. There's this thing. It's easy to say as a spectator, but when you, if you're in the back as fruit dealer, like it's obvious mm -hmm. that you have to make that prediction, like no matter what, because you know you know he needs the landers to kill the Chris, the sales dealer. So if Snow has a so brain, he's never gonna stay in there. So I no know <laughs> it's definitely not Cresselia's fourth move, but I'm really hoping Snow pulls a, a lunar dance into Zardvai and just finish this game. Well, lunar dance would be nice if it really brings PP back, like the menace set. But there's no way he has both. I mean, there is a way, but I don't feel that's... I mean, he could be Luna Dance on Cresselia, a trick on Jirachi instead of healing Wish. You never know. Let's, let's see. Dude, 42 I minutes. Just, I, don't even I think know. he's just going for Ice Beam. Uh, ice Beam does nothing, unless it freezes. Oh, back into Zar. And he's gonna roost again. Oh <laughs> back, my back god, Back to PP Star. <laughs> It was a f it was an interesting game up until if he, did, if he didn't get it out protect we wouldn't have been here yeah yet. hit zero pp oh lord let me see if there's any other game going on i don't think so there's gen 3 yeah there's no general <laughs> interest you can leave in the chat where the fuck did fire blast go did it miss no he just had double protect yeah <laughs> Next game. I know that so, Snowy is playing 4 a.m. more time, so they call me Nasty. Oh, nice. So he's gonna roost again. Oh, so did he use Flames Rove was second episode. What the fuck? How did he get Flames Rove? Where did he get that from? Is that his last move? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he already revealed his entire moveset. Obviously, he doesn't have Flamethrower. Wow, well, Flamethrower in the sun did 14. I, they did nothing. Yeah, so that is good speed Yeah. That why? But still. And like, that's one of the reasons why I prefer Flames Roar, um, mm -hmm. for the more PP and the accuracy. But the thing with that is, um, if you're running timid, you kind of want the power of Fire Blast. Flames Roar is like more on modest Zard. Like when Mega Metagross, Mega Metagross was around, there was a spread for modest Zard. Like you run enough mm -hmm. HP basically, so Metagross can't kill you with a Thunder Thunder Punch. Rose Flames That spread was cool. But yeah, Mega Manichem came out, so Timid is pretty nice. And what what else is the reason to run Timid? I don't know that ma that many base 100 months besides Salamence and Mega Manichem. Yeah, I can't think of any other either at the top of my head. Smaller and beam, yeah, he's gonna double oh, he double DC to break in the cross switch or something. So he's gonna roost Slender again. Crest, mm. They call me. We Ooh. still. Oh, we didn't roost. Okay, so he can either ice beam or I don't 
don't know his last move. <laughs> I don't think it's T wave. He would have shown that by now in the crest. I think it's uh, probably Celestina. it's probably something useless in this scenario, like psychic. Useless because he has pedestal. Yeah, screen. psychic. Even if it gets the death drop, I don't think he has any other special attackers. I mean, freeze the Cressalia would help if he freezes that. Yeah. <laughs> or if he psychics the death drops, it would help to add to that Ice Beam does a little bit more, but it's still not gonna break the Steeler. Yeah, so you already know it's gonna ask where's my game because I upload like all the games, but then um, I'm gonna have to tell you, well. Your opponent got double protect, so it's still uploading because this game is five hours long. <laughs> Timer. Hmm. No. I mean, it's. No? I don't know okay. if it's lagging. I think he's just thinking. How we yeah. can somehow speed this up, or like not choke it away? Freeze? No freeze. Like okay. you have to get the landers in on the steel stealer, but on the correct turn, like it's really hard to do because if he doubles it in and it gets attacked, it's in range from heavy slam, so it's like risky or range of flamethrower or whatever. Did you reveal landers set ABR asked? <laughs> Yesterday was funny. There was like this PC game for like one hour. So Finch, yeah, or, Finch yeah. or someone said put Doc Witch if he's recording. <laughs> and then they asked me if I'm recording and I said yes. And there was like Cory Cory was like LOLing his ass off. Yeah, I still have to to watch the game. But I, don't I mean, the game was at the beginning was boring, but at the end, whew. Oof. PDC with tactical maneuvers. I'm not gonna spoil it too much, but you I mean there were three games in one video, so even if I spoil one game. Mm -hmm. Now he's going to stay in with Man, this is so boring right now. The funniest video was in yesterday's video where like I thought I saw Protein U turn before my eyes I had like a flash because I was like 32 hours awake. I really oh, thought yeah, I you told you told me. Yeah yeah, I'm just telling the viewers now. So like I thought I saw U-turn and then there was like green in my eyes, but it was not the green from U-turn protein. It was just because I was looking at my screen for too long or something. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna roost here, slash, go back to Kress, yep. Uh, and he's gonna synthesis, it. taking advantage of the sun pouring up that move, uh, moonlight. I mean, three two PP left now. So this sheet of flamethrower, okay, okay, nice chip damage. And we go back into Zarda, I assume. Yeah, on the leech seed. Ooh. And Zard gonna roost. See, heavy slam crit there, Zard would have been gone. But if, if um, basically, if he can, can't he just sack his Zard? Then go into Landers and get a kill? Probably, yeah. And, and then he should win with Cresselia plus Scarf Jirachi. Yeah, I but think he's ju he just he's doing. Yeah, he's doing right. that. He's so he's gonna that. smack down with his Landers here. And if this mm -hmm. guy. If this guy um, gets a heavy slam crit oh, here, this game is over. Oh, it's gonna healing witch. He's gonna healing witch. Oh. Yup. Healing witch lane, oh. and then now it's GG probably. So yeah, this guy is gonna. Why did, did go Rachi? But then I, I remember. Yeah, the game is over yeah. now. That was well played. So he just didn't risk anything. He wanted to play it safe. So yeah, he's gonna finally. have to heavy slam crit multiple times. He's probably just gonna lead seed first. Now I think his best play, if he wants to have a chance, is get a flamethrower burn, right? Yes. That's his win condition, I think. I think, so I think. Yeah, I think, I think it's 10% to get a burn with Flamethrower. It is 10%. When is the White Queen playing? White Queen said he's gonna play all three games. BTB said 50 50. Uh, oh, yeah, he, it's 50 50 because he can go hard my neck trick on this mech. I mean, I get that, what? I get that play, but. Oof. Um, actually, let me, let me think about it. So, yeah, it. the longer to think about this, this is scary as fuck, and I wouldn't want to be in this situation. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> This is why we don't but play tournaments. <laughs> but I really, I really think. <laughs> Just kidding. I would I, like. To I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but I really think his free dealers only play is to go hard my neck trick on this Macdown. I mean, either that or get a flamethrower burn. Um, yeah, but that's less likely, probably. Yeah, but Snow might earthquake predict the neck trick, so I don't know. True. It's 50-50 versus 10%. That's what BTB said, but I'm not sure if it's 50-50. BTB. I mean, kinda. It's kind of. A huh. 
like I, I would like to like join some tours but I hate that there's like tournaments where you have to play multiple multiple games so it's like stressful mm -hmm. to build every week <laughs> like I like smog tours where you can just join a week that you wanna the only problem with that mm -hmm. is if you just join one out of nine or eight weeks you're not gonna make playoffs obviously <laughs> I, I'm gonna join next S2 for fun with bits and moon but oh my lord that's annoying as fuck because people will know I'm on my main. I'm gonna get roasted in the chat. I mean, actually, if I just play in the first round and I lose in the first round, no one's gonna roast me. I mean, smog tours, I don't. It's randomized, so like, I think it's not that hard to get to round Protect? Oh, he did Ooh, go for Leech. He predicted the Manactor, but he didn't even go for Leech Seed. Why, why did he go for Protect? Why was Protect, again? Why was protect huh? the play? He's a misclick or he, he's yeah, a misclick or he, he had a stroke. He forgot. I think he forgot. I mean, uh, no offense, my guy. Yeah, but I think I would have gone for EQ as well, because, like, the so fear since, of Manectric coming the, in on. Since Manectric. they're tagging so long, I'll open up the spreadsheet and I'll check which team Frudila's on, just to confirm that. I mean, obviously. No way. No way Frudila goes Manectric now. I, I would smack down now. I don't know. Hmm. Dude, this is Actually. risky as fuck. I think he's going Manectric here. Rip, yeah, I think he means clip. How much money you want to bet? I think he's going Manectric here. No way, no. Nah. I mean, it would be a, a very good play, but... I mean, HP Ice, it kills if it's offensive lander, probably. Yeah. I'm gonna run the Kalk, but it should kill. Because I know that max HP lives, but... Yeah, it does 101 minimum, okay. Ooh. <laughs> Wait, Eternal Spirit made a post. Did Eternal Spirit play today? I hope that post that he made is just about a different game, because if he's 31, I'm gonna be mad. Yep. I'm gonna be he mad as fuck. Yeah, Snow got it correct, and was... if he doesn't get burned, he wins. Exactly, yeah. I mean, Both yeah, probably, o obviously, going by next week was the right play, but it was super risky. So Earthquake is gonna blow this away. Exactly. Because I'm assuming it's some Earth plates. Yeah, I don't know what happened that turn where he protected that has. Must have he been probably misclicked. Misclicked slash his keyboard trolled him. His <laughs> mouse trolled him. I don't know. Nice, nice. Finally. Then he's getting excited because it's. Yeah, we, we can see the end of this game after the PP stall. Nice 52 minute game. Goddamn. I mean, I guess that's one of the reasons why you run Flamethrower without why. So this doesn't happen. Yeah, but I don't know. Fanzo like can, like, in some scenarios, not get the 2 KO done e or the Oko. Exactly. Fuck. At one point, my computer was lagging because he said I've had enough of this game. Actually, it was you a few minutes ago. Hmm? He, he sacks Celestila here, right? Because he needs Manectric more? Because Manectric is his only way to kill. I don't no, know. He hopes that he has Bright Powder and Leftovers on his Crusade yeah. and his Celestila. No, you, you suck Celestia, no. If this is really off, but this is definitely killing. Um, yeah, and I think that it's pretty obvious that the man's was the Z-move mon and this is not Z-move and off played. Yeah, that makes the most sense to me, yeah. And then he's probably gonna lose... No, he's definitely gonna lose to Cresselia, because Cresselia can toxic the Monectric and... Yeah, Ice Beam, Psychic. I don't know what, what he's thinking of. Well, like he just, he has to sack so still I think. <laughs> 80 turns. I mean, he doesn't really have a play, he just loses. Yeah. Like something dies. And even I if mean, he goes to Manectric he still has to... F yeah, I guess he can go Manectric and fish for flamethrower burn. Just... Yeah, he's ooh, gonna sack the Manectric, fish for flamethrower yeah. burn because he gets rid of the smackdown. I guess, but, but now he still loses now to the combination. Exactly, because Manectric was his only like he had HPS for lane, but now how does he beat? I guess we flame for. I mean, he can't really win this at this point anymore. Wild outside, and it's okay. funny because he kind of got the fifty-fifty correct, mm -hmm. but then he clicked protect on the on that turn. Okay, misclick. I mean, I joined, I joined the game when it was, when it started already. But looking at team preview, I would have never guessed that this game would have lasted like eighty plus turns. 
It was just because of double protect and no, not wanting to risk anything. Moonlight, flame four. Yeah, nice usually hit. this game, like I would assume that it freeze? took like no 15. Freeze. I would say usually that 15 or 20 minutes. Yeah, I think. Would have been the length. He's probably going to sack Roselia like he did with Zardwai, I'm guessing, because he has zero PP on Moonlight. Yeah. <laughs> Freeze. And try maybe to get to get a freeze in the process. Nope. Yeah, but the, like you said, he was going, he was going to come down to a one or two. Oh, I guess it's gonna be a one or. Oh. Ooh, nice freeze, GG. I mean, oh, I'm on turn GG. 86. Do you skip turns or how do you already know the? No, no he's. They are on turn 89. But I was on turn 86. What the fuck? I I guess you're behind. No, not so anymore. No, he smacked Dorn. Yeah, it's, it's GG. Uh, it's I mean, frozen. it clicked the ice beam m multiple times. So yeah, he, Seas he knows that you'd have to burn, that's what I said. Mm -hmm. Well played indeed. I mean, he got a double protect. GG. And Snow finishes the pool 3-0. Yep. Yeah, I'm just gonna see which team food he lies on. I'm in the spreadsheet thing. So he is on... 3 and O like many. So he played versus Duke cool. Vesper, Duke Vesper then got subbed out, so he didn't Vesper, play. Vesper, Vesper, Vesper is some Greece guy, yeah. Fruit Dealer. Uh, Fruit Dealer is on Team Asia, okay, that's good Asia. to know. Asia, I didn't, I don't know why I thought he was in Latin America. Never mind. And I think that was his first game. Yeah, he's in Asia with White Queen, Lord Outrage, Prash. I only, I only know Fruit Dealer because I'm pretty sure. He he lost to Gypsy King in OST, if I remember correctly. Oh, really? I think that's but yeah, what this, this has been 56 minutes, so thank you guys for yeah, watching. It's finally over. And I don't know which other game is today besides the snowy game, so I'll definitely bring you the snowy game later. Yeah, this is funny because this guy's called Snow and Snowy is playing later. Yeah. Snowy is the Padlop Slayer. Um, exactly. If you want to see Padlop get slayed, check out the replays, no he was his Padlop. <laughs> um, if I don't forget it, I might link it down below. And yeah, goodbye. Bye. Okay.